Yeah, you want me to start talking about with the, the dual CO2? Yeah. Okay. With the dual CO2, you have to drill a hole in the tube to let the, you know, the CO2 come out when you go to pull it apart. The adapter has a step in it, so when, you know, when it pressure rises, it flips up over on it and seals. When you're taking it apart, it drops back down in there and lets the gas out. And the valve body, you have to sit there and take and drill a hole right in through there to allow the gas coming from the other cylinder into here. Otherwise, it just pressurizes the chamber and will not go in with the dual CO2. Awesome. So one 12 gram is facing forward and the other is facing back in the dual adapter. Right. And you've also, with the front of the dual adapter, you also can't just use your standard rod. The standard rod that came in, it has to be cut down. The when dual. you put the adapter in, and I use a gem nut, so the shaft and everything, and this cannot twist and come loose as you're pulling it in and out. You drill this out and you can counter bore it and put the set screw in there so when it's tight that there's a slight movement, not a whole lot. So when you're threading it in, everything stays stationary, you know, going forward. And all the pressure is on the threads going in and out. Nothing on this turning, so it can't come loose.